Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 2 and we are here in Klamath and uh, well we've just finished everything there is to do here so if I have a look at the Pip-Boy here, check our status under Klamath. We killed the Rat God last time and we went over to those toxic caves and rescued Smiley the Trapper and uh, well now we have to head on over to a place called the Den apparently and the Den is gonna be um, uh, well, as far as I know, there's slavers there, and uh, we're looking for Vic the Trader, who apparently has been captured there, and my trusty companion here, Sulik, apparently has a sister there, which we might be able to save. I'm not too sure, though. Um, and after we save his sister, he might no longer be our companion. I'm really not too sure. So, uh, let's head on out to the world here, and we're gonna have to head down to the den. Okay, so there we go. We came from Arroyo. We're at Klamath. Heading down to the den now. So let's go ahead and travel on downwards and uh, hopefully we don't encounter anything too bad here uh, but all right here we go reaching the den no encounters let's enter on in and see what we've got all right it's night time here we see an addict by the door are you the town greeter as well no he just says he needs a fix okay now There's something about these children. I remember something about hating these children. I can't remember what they do. I don't think they attack you. Um, what what do they do? Do they steal your stuff? I think they might steal your stuff. Okay. What you be need? Uh, no, I don't need to do that. Uh, just in case, I'm, I want to see if my memory serves me right here. Yeah? Uh, I'm gonna deposit all my stuff onto Sulik here. Just to make sure. And I'm gonna leave something on me. What what am, what am I willing to lose? Uh, let's, uh... Let's take one of these. I have a spike on me. Okay, a plant spike. And I've still got my... my gun in hand and everything, so... Let me walk up to these kids. Oh, did you see that? I still have the plant spike, but you see these kids, they're, they're trying to steal from me. <laughs> you can actually see their hands. Alright, I'm gonna leave the plant spike on me. Um, Alright, but let's look around the town. Okay, so we've got Becky's here. Uh, we've got, what's that? Tubbies, I think. And we've got a shack over there. And uh, something over here. Two kids. A genuine mummy here. See the mysterious mummy. Okay, and whoa, is that... That's a Brotherhood of Steel place. All right, nice. All right, so, uh, seems like Becky's is the place to be. Um, ooh, it's a gambling center. Let's start by talking to the person behind the counter. Hello, are you Becky? You see a very attractive young lady. Hi there, I'm Rebecca. Can I get you something to drink? I'm sure you're thirsty after your trip through the wastes. Um, uh, I'm looking for, or should I start by asking for a looking for a merchant named Vic? Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know Vic. Metzger's got him locked up. I'm not sure why, though. Who's Metzger? You come to the den and you don't know who Metzger is? He's the slave master. He's on the east side of town, hard to miss. Okay, I have another question. Do you have any work? Fred owes me 200 bucks. If you can collect it somehow, we'll work something out. Alright, what's the catch? Catch? Oh, well, if you knew Fred, you'd understand he's owed me the money for quite a long time. I'd written it off as a loss. But if you can get it back, I'd be amazed and grateful. He's somewhere in town, I'm sure. All right, I'll see what I can do. Fred, huh? Well, let's just talk to everyone around here. Uh, hello there. Um, nice to see a new face around here. My name is Leanne. How are you? Care to sit down? Great. How are things with you? Very good. Thanks for asking. Becky has such an interesting family history. Do you have one yourself? <laughs> I am the chosen one. My um. Uh. Yeah, my ancestor supposedly saved the world from someone called the Master. How interesting, that reminds me of a story I heard long ago. Something about a Master. Really? What was it? This might take a bit. Be a gentleman and buy me a drink. Sorry, I, I'm not gonna buy you a drink. Alright. Blackjack, uh-huh. These are all guards. Anyone else I can talk to here? These are... Oh, place your bets. I am not gambling. <laughs> My skills in gambling are abysmal. 
Okay, I don't think there's anyone else here. They're all gamblers. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Tubby's. And again, there's, there's kids standing by the doors. They're trying to steal my stuff. I don't think... I think if I run by, uh, I'm okay. We're at, with Tubby's guards, okay. This is Tubby then, you see the shop owner. Hello sir and welcome to Tubby's, I'm the proprietor. May I help you? I need some information. What would you like to know? Who's in charge of this town? No one, I'm afraid. The den is an anarchistic place where a kind of Darwinian struggle is played out. Only the strongest, fastest, or smartest will survive here. I'm sure you will find your niche. That's surprisingly intelligent. Um, thanks. Um, why is everyone selling drugs? That's not the kind of information I would just give away to anyone. Alright, um... Uh, I'll ask something else. Do you know where the vault is located? I've heard of a place called Vault City, but unfortunately I can't help you with directions. You see, very few of us towns can offer acceptable exchange for the medical services they provide, so most of us have never been there. Vault City? Okay, thanks. Um, I'd like to buy that. What have you got? Uh, let's see, right away, might come in handy. Desert Eagles, stim packs. How much is a stim pack right now, actually? 368. Okay, um, I might have to uh, bot some stuff. What is this? Psycho, a drug, that's Jet, and he's got some money. He's got some money, should I? I don't, th I don't think I'll sell stuff now. I think I'll, I'll wait till I increase my bot skill. But let's see if there's anything we can steal. There's someone back here. Hello? Uh, I feel so alive. Oh. There's multiple uh, females at the back here. Never mind. I'm just gonna search his shelf here. Uh, some booze. Always nice to have. I guess that's it for Tubby. Um, can you help a poor man down on his luck? Um, I don't actually have any money on me. Maybe next time. Thank you anyway. Should I take my stuff back? I'm not too sure if I should take my stuff back. I think the kids aren't really stealing from me anymore. Alright, let, let me take my stuff back. Uh, at least the essentials. Alright, uh, I'll take my money back. What else do I need? I don't need... I guess I'll take my bullets back. And... Do I need anything else? Not really. Okay. What's this building? Hello? You must be here to see Lara. Okay. Who is Lara? Hello? Uh, you see Lara? The name's Lara. I run this gang. You better not be here to cause trouble or you're in for a world of hurt. Um, let's ask for work. Well, it depends on what you're good at. There is something I'm curious about. If you can find out, I'll pay you a bit. Sure, what's that? Well, there's a church east of here. Metzger has some people guarding whatever's inside. Find out what and I'll pay you 200 bucks. Sure. Thanks. Don't get in a fight yet. I have a plan. No problem. Okay, there's a church east of here. We gotta find out what's inside. Now, let's, uh... Ooh, there's actually a back room here. Maybe there's something we could steal. Let's search this bookcase. Anything? Ooh! Guns and Bullets magazine, flares, crowbar. I'll take those. Now, guns and bullets. Um, what is my current small guns? 101%. I'm not sure if you can actually um, use guns and bullets to raise it any higher. Let's try it. You learn nothing new. Okay, uh, you can't... You can't raise it above 100% with magazines and... Alright, alright, we can... We'll see what that is then. Um, what's that? That wasn't there before, was it? You see a ghost! <laughs> oh, the pain, it burns so! Um, what's the matter? Where is it? I cannot find it, I am lost. Oh, okay. Um, what are you looking for? Maybe I can help. My locket, it's gone thief, thief. Can I help you find it? Oh, cruel fate. You can't hear me, can you? A ghost? Well, that's interesting. Let's just search uh, these containers here. Mommy, Daddy, where are you? Is it a legit ghost? I'm not too sure. What's this? A diary? Let's have a look at the diary. 
It appears to be a diary which belonged to a young girl. The writing on the inside cover says property of Anna. Most of the pages are either torn or faded, but one is still readable. Day 271. Today my mother gave me a gold locket. It is the most beautiful thing I have ever owned. I will never part with it. A gold locket, huh? Alright. I guess that's the locket we're going for. And this door... It's locked. Don't suppose I can... Pick this lock. No. Okay. Well, since we're here, let's uh, check out what's this. Are these kids going to try to steal from me as well? No. An educational opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> this is a live show. All right. Uh, who are you? You see a short man with a thick mustache. Hello, welcome, salutations. I am the great Ananias. He offers you a slight bow with a flourish. I bring mysteries from near and far, friend. Mysteries from a world beyond our own, of the netherworld. What kind of mysteries? I know things that mere mortal man is not meant to know, i.e. Nyarloth. Oh, sorry, I got a little carried away there for a moment. I have tales of a ghost that haunts these very grounds, as well as a genuine Egyptian mummy that you can see right here in this marvelous sarcophagus. Um... I've just got to hear that ghost story. Uh, do I get a nice hot cup of cocoa to go with it? Well, you see, he motions you closer. There was once a great queen that ruled all of the surrounding town. She kept her throne by virtue of a special amulet that she kept around her neck at all times. Great stuff, huh? Uh, yeah, you bet. So this princess had a magic amulet. Oh, do go on. I just can't stand this level of suspense any l much longer. Well, I'll cut to the chase. So the evil wizard poisoned the young princess and took her amulet She's been wandering around the room next door ever since. Well, uh, that is just at the witching hour anyway. Oh, so the ghost is only there at certain times. That's why I kept the door locked. Pretty darn scary, huh? The ghost of an amuletless princess is in the trashed room next door. That's it? I can't believe you're peddling that as a story. I'd rather hear about the stupid mummy you're supposed to have here. No, my friend, a mummy. Straight from the sands of ancient Egypt. I'm not going to listen to that. Uh, I've seen enough corpses already. Goodbye. Alright. Um, so it looks like we've got three quests so far. Collect money from... Was it Fred? Was it Fred the guy? Uh, return Anna's locket. Collect money from Fred. Lara wants to know what's being guarded in the church. Right. Okay. So we got three quests so far. Now, this Brotherhood of Steel guy. Hello. I don't suppose we should be going in. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Gamerzak. I'm Joshua. What can I do for you? Wait, how do you know my name? Your recent activities have drawn attention to you. People talk and people listen and word gets around. You need to remember that you are only one small fish in an ocean of sharks. What do you mean by that? Let's just say that you're the new kid on the block and you don't know what's going on in the neighborhood. There's a lot more going on than your simple quest. Go on, I'm listening. I've said enough for now. I think you should get about your business. Wait, I need to ask you some questions. Alright, you're allowed one question. What will it be? Do you know where I can find a Gek? Do you know where I can find Vault 13? I'm looking for a trader named Vic. Okay. He's Brotherhood of, Brotherhood of Steel. He might know about the Gek more than anyone else. Do you know where I can find a Gek? The Geks were a standard issue item for all vaults. If memory serves me right, they were to be used after the vault opened to rebuild civilization. I can only assume that one could be found in an unopened vault. Good luck. Alright, thanks. An unopened vault. Okay. I guess we're not... We won't be opening this door, right? This is private property. Move along. Okay. Alright, there's somewhere we can go down there, but I do want to check out this little shack on the left. You can see how the game really does light certain areas that you're supposed to go to. You can just see where you're supposed to go. Alright, let's check this. You see a greasy old coot. Hello there, young fella. What can old Smitty do for you? I was just wondering what you do here. Mostly I just keep watch over all this old junk, only got one thing's worth doodly squat. What's that? Why, it's none other than the Chrysalis Motors Highwaymen. They used to say that nothing can stop a highwayman. They sure built them tough, though. I'll say that for him. Does it run? If it ran, do you think I'll still be in this shithole of a town? Um, I guess not. 
Well, then again, maybe I would too. I got all comfortable here, I understand. Uh... Alright, uh, basically, I wouldn't mind selling the car if someone brought me the battery. No, strike that. Need a fuel cell controller, and he'll sell the car for 2,000 bucks. Even install the controller so it'll run away. Come back if I find a fuel cell controller. Alright, wait, I did find something. I found something uh, at Klamath, right? It was a, a car part? What was it? What was it? Where's, where's the car part? Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought, I thought it was stolen. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this in my inventory and ha have a chat. Um, say, old timer, I have this thingy here that I picked up in Klamath. Let old Smithy here take a look at it. Sure, here it is. That's uh, just like a fuel cell regulator. If I had a car that ran, that would improve the mileage on it. Alright, so this is a fuel cell regulator. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. So if I find a... What you need? I keep doing that. Let's, uh... Uh... I need to find a, a fuel... Just a fuel cell or something like that. Another car part, basically. Alright. Car might be nice. Now, let's see. There's this building here. That kid gonna try to steal from me? No, okay. Um... Anyone to talk to here? Let's just search the shelves. Nothing there. Oh, I, I keep forgetting I can actually highlight. Look at that, there's a shovel in the room with the ghost. Alright, that might be handy. We might have to dig something up. Now, who's this? Oh, you see a thin, greasy looking man. Hey there, I'm Flick. What the fuck do you want? Um, uh, I'd like to trade with you? What do you got? Uh, a shotgun, a rifle, stim packs, armor, drugs. How much is a shotgun? 1,700. Okay, I'm not doing any trading until my barter skill is higher. Um, ask you another question. What's with the wacky accent? What are you talking about? Do you think I'm a stupid Perla? Some dumb filio... What? Filio di putana? Do you think I'm some kind of clown? Am I here to amuse you? Um, no, I was just curious. Um, what do you do here? Uh, I'm a provider. Okay, so he sells drugs. I provide for them little paisanos. You provide pianos? Paisanos. My kids, the kids. Your kids? They work for me, they bring me things, little things. Um... Okay, so he he's in charge of the kids that steal stuff, I think. All these kids by the doors? Yeah, there we go. He tried to steal something. I don't know if they're actually getting anything off me. I don't think so. Alright, there's, there's a shovel right here. Let's uh, grab the shovel. I do have a shovel, but having an extra shovel will be handy. Never know. Alright, so I guess we'll head on over to the east side of town. I think I talked to everyone around here. Uh, um, oh, I can talk. How do I know you? What do you want? I'm here to collect some money you owe someone. Ah, is this Fred? What are you talking about? I don't owe anyone anything. Uh, Becky says you owe her 500. Rebecca says she lent you 200. Let's, let's be honest here. Um, she lent you 200. Oh yeah, right. Rebecca lent me 200. Oh wait, maybe, um... Hand it over. Damn, I think you're right, but I'm almost broke. I can't afford that kind of money. I've got to eat, you know. Um... Tough luck? Damn it, I can barely afford 100. Could you spot me half? I promise I'll pay you back. Come on, pay up the full amount. I told you I can't. I'll starve if I do. Oh, come on. Can't you help me out? I guess I have to. Alright, I'll cover half of it. What? Really? Wow, thanks a lot. Here's a hundred bucks. I'll get the other hundred as soon as possible. You better pay me back. Oh, don't worry, I will. You have my word and I won't forget about it this time. Okay. Say, you know what? That hundred's really gonna, uh, delay things. Do you think I could borrow a little bit back? What? <laughs> no way. Um... He's, he's just gonna... 
Well, he's not gonna pay me back, is he? Alright, these kids just trying to steal my stuff. Alright, um, about that job, I got the money back. I can't believe it, how did you do it? Oh, never mind, I'm just stunned, that's all. To show my appreciation, I'll split it with you right down the middle. Thank you, Gain. That was very honest of you. You're welcome. Now, in Fallout, you always have to be careful about being generous with your money. Sometimes you will get rewarded for it, and other times you're just going to get screwed over. So you just have to kind of guess what's going to happen. Now, in terms of him, I don't think he's going to pay me back. But I might be wrong, I know. Uh, any more work for me? Derek borrowed a book of mine a while back. I'll pay you 80 bucks if you can get it back for me. Tell me more. The book was The Lavender Flower. Derek should be over around Mom's on the east side. Sure, sounds easy. The Lavender Flower. Looking for a book. Okay, I was heading to the east side anyway. Now, who are these guys? Looking for trouble. Hey man, I'm Joey. What are you doing on my turf? Um, just looking for some information. What do you want? What's the deal with the old church and those guards? Oh, you mean Tyler and his gang. They guard some shit that comes in from Vault City. Big crates, once in a while you see them get picked up by caravans heading to New Reno. Can I ask you more about them? What else do you want to know? Who's Tyler? Tyler's just some weasel who screwed all the rest of us out of a sweet deal with Metzger. Uh, I don't fucking care anymore, I could kick his ass, so... Uh, Lara and him still have some really bad blood. Something about Tyler and her brother. That could be useful, can I ask you more? Where's New Reno? New Reno is down to the south a long ways than east some. There's a lot of action to be made there, but it's pretty dangerous. Might head back someday. I can show you- oh, we found out where New Reno is. Perfect, next location. Um, ask more about them. So what are they guarding? Hell if I know. Alright, let me ask you something else. Uh, ever heard of Vault 13? Nope. Uh, no, bye. Okay. So, we found out a little bit about things. Let's head on over to the east side. Alright. Just make sure we're not missing talking to anyone here. Alright, there's the church. Uh, so we're supposed to find out what's going on in this church, right? That's, uh... You need something, you gotta talk to Tyler here. Hello? Who the hell are you and what do you want? Um... I could say Metzger sent me. Metzger sent me. What the hell for? His stuff's not going anywhere. Um, he wanted me to check it for him or, well, he wanted to be sure. Which one sounds more believable? I think he wanted me to check it for him. Sure he did. I've never seen you around here before. Now beat it. Uh, look, he had me come into town just to inspect his damn stuff. I could care less. I don't think so. Now beat it. Fine. Ah, I didn't manage to talk my way through that. What else is here? There's a slaver's guild. Mom's is over here, okay. There's something about Mom's. Mom's diner. You see a kindly looking older woman. Hello there, my name's Mom, I run this place. Got the best food north of New Reno too. <laughs> You're not my mom. Um... Uh... What's there to do here in town? Well, I sure need someone to deliver a meal to Smitty. He's just west of here at the junkyard. Will you do it for me? I'll give you a free meal if you do. Sure, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I'll bring it right over to him. And I also saw another dialogue option there. Oh, okay. Can't. Um, oh, hi. Um, why the glum face? Nothing really. Just sometimes I get thinking about my mom and cat. Miss them so very much. Cat? Yeah, Cuddles. She was such a sweet cat. I really don't feel like talking about it. Well, unless you'd like to buy me a drink. Again, spending money... Alright, let's hear the story about the cat. I hear there used to be ones that were as big as you and me. They used to eat animals as big as Brahmin. Now that's scary stuff. Yeah, it is. The kind I'm talking about is a small, cute animal, bigger than a rat, but smaller than a dog. Some are fluffy like my cuddles, but others have short hair, really. They like to be pet in like a dog does, but cats make this wonderful relaxing sound when you pet them. Strange. Cuddles always used to help me go to sleep at night. I think of her every night when I try to go to sleep. Sounds nice. I had her when I was a kid, but she disappeared. I didn't know what happened to her. I was too young. Why? 
Well, food was awful, scarce back then, and people had to eat. It's quite sad, really. What? They ate the cat? People would hunt them because they were such easy prey. None of them are around anymore because of it. Sick. Those were the wild ones, but I'm sure that's what happened to mine. Now I know why mom always kept a close eye on her. I'm sorry. It makes me sad to think about it. Stacy told you a sweet story about her darling cat Cuddles. You gained 200 experience points. Oh, that's nice. How far away am I from leveling? Not that far, actually. Um, cats are awesome. If you didn't know, I have a cat. Uh, not here right now. Now, how about you? One very drunk person, he has a sign that says, We'll work for food. Hello? Spare some change for an out of work farmer? How much is change? How much do you need? Uh, well, he says we'll work for food. How about I buy you a hot meal? I'm not really hungry right now. How about if you give me the money and I'll get it later? I bet you use the money to you collect to buy drugs, don't you? Uh, whatever you use, he's drunk. <laughs> whatever it means, it can't be good. Before you can reply, Carl falls forward and passes out. He literally fell, fell over. It's Carl. He passed out. All right, let's see if we can uh, take anything from around here. This is a diner. Should have some food, booze, and a box of noodles. Ooh, that's the the meal, Smitty's meal we've got. Nice looking meal. I think that's all. What's the meal look like? It's some kind of salad and a sandwich made out of what you think is Brahmin meat covered in a thick, dark yellow sauce. There's also a strange pickled green vegetable on the side. It weighs three pounds. All right, that's mom's diner. Just keep talking to random people, I think. All right, here's the Slaver's Guild. Let's go in and say hello. Ah, fresh meat. Welcome to the Slaver's Guild. The name's Aiden. You're here on business? You better be. Uh, what exactly does your guild do? You gotta be shitting me. We capture and sell slaves? That's what you're here for, right? You're looking for some action? Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say I'd like to buy some slaves. You talk to Metzger about that. He doesn't normally sell to the public. He has his hands full with bigger customers. Okay. Let's go talk to Metzger. I'm guessing he's the important one in the middle. What the fuck do you want? This is the Slaver's Guild, not some safe house for you jetheads. Um... I have someone I'd like to sell. Can I actually sell Sulik? Is that something I can do? <laughs> um, uh, well, let's start. What can you tell me about your guild? What do you think? This is a slaving guild. I buy and sell slaves. Uh, all right. Um, where do you get slaves? Oh, here and there. We mainly collect primitives and nomads when we run across them. have another question. Um, about Vic. He's one that specializes in vault technology, or so he says. He's my property now, he's not going anywhere. Why are you keeping him here? Uh, he sold me a radio that he said would be able to pick up some transmissions. It didn't. I caught his ass trying to sneak out of town before I found out. Bad mistake. He's lucky to be alive. What kind of transmissions are you talking about? The Enclave and New... Hey, what? You? Th okay, he's not going to tell me. Okay. Uh... About Vic. Can I see him? What for? Ah, oh, fuck, never mind. Just don't keep him from fixing that damn radio. He better fix it soon. I'm sick of feeding his lazy ass. He said okay. Now I wonder if I can open this door and steal some stuff. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> um, is this Vic? You see a slave. I'm not too sure. Can I open the door? No, hands off. Um, oh, I can talk to him. About Vic. Uh, him? Yeah. Some merchant. I think he broke something. Not sure why. Uh, the door's locked. Could you open it? Of course. I didn't know you wanted to talk to him right now. Sorry. I just thought you were curious or something. Thanks. Fantastic. There you go. I can actually look at his workbench. Now before... Nothing on the workbench? I thought you were fixing a radio. How about this one? Nothing on there either. 
Well, I get to talk to Vic. Finally, we found Vic the traitor after coming out of Arroyo. And is it just me or is the music really loud? Um, let's drop the music levels a bit. It sounds really loud. By the way, speaking of the music, it sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Just listen to the music. They don't make music like that anymore. It sounds so dirty. It sounds so raw. <laughs> uh, the, the newer Fallout, Fallout 3, I played Fallout 3 and the music is all very clean-ish. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the, the music volume round there, a little lower than before. All right, let's uh, talk to Vic. Would you tell him I can't wait? Who are you? You're not a slaver. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm Gimmerzak, but why have you been locked in this room? It's a long story. I guess you could say that Metzger is keeping me here until I fix his darn radio. The crystal's shot, and I don't have any spare parts. How does he expect me to fix it? Well, I'm here to get you out. Wow, you'd do that for me? I'd do anything if you could get me out of this mess. Only problem is that Metzger's got me locked in here until I fix this radio and I don't have the parts I need. Where can I get the parts you need? I know I can do it. I just need some parts. There is an old radio in my shack back in Klamath. Oh, behind the locked door? That has exactly what I need. You've been to uh, the Duntons? My shack's, well, it's just east of their place. Uh, I'll go look for it. Thanks. Don't suppose you could give me a key to that locked door or something. Maybe I can repair it too. I know I can do it. Um, I'll be back. Does he have anything to barter? Always check. No, nothing. Fine. He didn't give me a key. I don't know how if I can break down that door or something. All right. There's a power generator back there. So Sulik's sister should be somewhere back here. There's a lot of uh, uh, just a slender, primitive woman. One of them should be Sulik's sister. All right. Uh, so last place we got to look here, and there's this some kind of kind of bar. What's it say? The hole. All right. More kids trying to steal my stuff. Let's see. Don't bother me, I'm scoping for nice looking chicks. Good luck, you'll need it. Ah, oh, shucks. Uh, take a seat, maybe not. Anyone to talk to here? Maybe some stuff to steal. Nothing there. And I forgot to mention, there's a bunch of graves here. And there's a ghost, and there was a shovel in her room. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Uh, hey, it'll cost you more if you got an audience with you. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not looking for a prostitute. Let's uh, search these back rooms. Never know if there's any sort of treasure, or at least a bit of loot to sell. Anything here? A crowbar. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's a some kind of shack at the back there. Gonna have to look at that right after I talk to the bartender. You see the owner of the hole. I'm Frankie and you're standing in the hole, best damn bar for a hundred miles. Everyone crawls into the hole when it's time to let loose. Now, don't you be causing too much trouble, you hear? I hear ya. What's your pleasure? Whiskey, woman, info. Information I do not have. Then I'm in the wrong place. Goodbye. Uh, ooh, does he have anything interesting to... Just a gun? 10mm pistol? Fine. Nothing today, bye. Alright, so... Um, let's check out this shack back here. Now, I don't think there's anything else around here. And... No, there's nothing there. So let's... Uh, I wonder what that shack's for then. It's just an empty shack, I guess. Alright, so... We've got to... Find a way... Oh, look! We can actually see inside the church. I can't get there. Damn it. 
Is there any way I could convince you to see what's in there? Hmm. How am I gonna find out what's inside? Let me try to talk to, to mom again. Ah, she wants me to take the meal to Smitty. Fine, fine. I guess I'll take the meal to Smitty. Well, Metzger's keeping stuff in there. Maybe I could ask around. Uh, hmm. Can't ask about... Can I talk to any of these guys? No? Mm. Never mind. Can I barter with him? Uh, he's got some interesting things, not too much. Alright. I'm not sure how to find out what's inside the church. It seems like I... Uh, I couldn't talk my way through and now he won't talk to me at all. Oh well, let's head back to the west. Um, actually, let's check the graveyard. Let's, uh... Let's see. The headstone reads John Price. Uh, what was the name of the, the girl? Property of Anna. Let's see if we can find Anna's tombstone. Uh, headstone reads Thomas French died while attempting to master the flying guillotine. Jeremy Barnes, the bald-headed monkey of Black Isle. Another victim of the deadline. Fred Hatch died getting Myron's voice recorded. Uh, the headstone reads, Who was fatally burned March 21st, 1870 by the explosion of a lamp filled with R.E. Danforth's non-explosive burning fluid. I was somebody who is no business of yours. You see a headstone. Christopher Winslow. Anna Winslow. Anna, that's the name. Mrs. Tamara Winslow. All right, I have a shovel on me. Let's uh, let's try dig up a grave. Anything in there? No, nothing. Damn, Anna, I just dug up your body. Oh well, let's read the rest of these headstones. She always said her feet were killing her, but nobody believed her. That joke is so old. Well, then again, this game is as well. Here lies the body of Jonathan Blake. Stepped on the gas instead of the brake. Uh, Greg Zeshu, Fall 99. Rob Giampa, or Giampa, lived his life like he liked his woman. Fast, cheap, and easy. Brahmin Wrangler. Alright. Most of them seem to be nameless. Let's uh, equip that again. Alright. Well, we can deliver Smitty's meal. And uh, we gotta find out a way to find out what's in the church. Let's go deliver Smitty's meal first, since we know exactly what to do there. Still looking for that book as well. Uh, uh, I brought you a meal from Moms. No problem, see you around. Gained 150 experience, 10 karma. Nice. Alright. Now... I don't suppose I could search any of these things. No? Okay. Um... Let's talk to Lara again. Any hints on how to... Not yet. I haven't found out what's in there yet. Alright, who can I... who can I talk to? Um... This guy n seems to know about drugs. Uh... can I ask you something? Hmm... Why is everyone selling drugs? This is some... This could be important information. Uh, let's, let's do a quick save here. Before I screw something up. Uh, ask you something. Why is everyone selling drugs? How about 50 bucks? Don't think that's going to be good enough? How about I threaten him? Give you a new hole in the head. I prefer you to leave instead. Uh... Hmm. Buying stuff from him probably won't help too much. I 
he won't tell me anymore. Damn it. Uh, let's quick load. Do I have to pay him a hundred bucks? Uh, would a hundred bucks change your mind? Okay, drugs are the basis for this town's economic system, just as another town may use grain or gold. Reading is another prime example of a town fueled by drugs. Damn, miners are too high. Uh, uh, Reading is another prime example of a town fueled by drugs. Damn, miners are too high all the time to get any real work done. I've never been there myself, but it's a couple days southeast of here if you want to check it out. Thanks. Um... That's not really worth it. I'm gonna reload. I'm really short on cash and uh, I'm gonna have to find another way. Alright, um, well there was an area to search down here. Let's uh, go look down here then. Maybe we can find something. Alright, anyone we can talk to. Uh, there's a bunch of bottles and stuff in there. Let's just search through these buildings. Alright, anyone in here? No? These people don't talk? I think I had a stim pack stolen. I think they stole a stim pack. Those... Those thieves stole a stim pack off me. I'm pretty sure I had two of these. Wait, no, there's Sulix holding two. I have another stim pack. Did I get a stim pack from somewhere? Hmm. That's confusing. Alright, I don't think I see anything to steal here. Did I search this? Oh, five bucks. Some jerky. Don't mind. Alright, let's search... There's lots of bottles here. How do I get into this building? I can't see a door. Is that a door? Okay. Uh, is no one here? Ooh! Rope! That could come in handy. A stim pack, nice! We're actually getting some pretty decent stim packs here. Uh, we got four stim packs, two's on Sulik. Anyone here? No? Nothing there. No loot, okay. We got another building here. And who is here? Hi mister, my name's Bobby and I live here with my dad. Uh, I see, well that... Are you here because my dad owes you money? I don't know if he's here or not, but if I knew where he was I'd tell you because maybe you'd beat him up so bad he wouldn't ever come home again. It sounds like you're not too fond of your dad. Because my dad's not very nice, he leaves me home alone all the time and when he is home he's always drunk or he says he's flying on jet, which is a lie because I've never seen him fly anywhere. <laughs> Uh, sometimes he brings a girlfriend home. He's got a lot of girlfriends and makes me go outside for a while, even if it's in the middle of the night and it's cold or raining. That's, um... Oh, and he sometimes tells me to take things from people in secret. He says it's a game and that he gives it back later, but I don't believe him. But if I don't do it, then he gets real mad and his eyes get scary looking and he hurts me. See? He lifts up his shirt sleeve, revealing a nasty bruise. That sounds horrible. Your father has no right to treat you that way. His eyes light up. You aren't like the others that come through here. I like you. He sighs heavily. I wish my dad was more like you. Sometimes I think about running away. Some of my friends don't have homes and they say it's not so bad. As long as they bring Mr. Flick enough things, they get to eat once a day. But Mr. Flick doesn't sound very nice either. Actually, he sounds a lot like my dad. There's got to be something that can be done about this. Can you think of any adults in this town that's willing to look after you? Maybe mom? Not my mom. Uh, my mom's dead. But there's a lady that people call mom. I don't know why. Maybe because she's really nice? Uh, she's got a diner on the other side of town. Alright. Hmm. I am feeling a bit hungry. Perhaps I'll pay mom a visit. Maybe we can do something there? 
Not too sure. Ah. Let's, uh, steal your beers. And you must be the dad. You see a middle-aged man. Do I know you? It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? What? It's 11 already? Actually, no, it isn't. I just wanted to say that. But seriously, do you know where your children are? I have children? Oh, yeah, I do. He is or she could should be around here somewhere. You're such a drunk. Uh, I'm going to work on getting your child in, out of here. Oh, there's a bookshelf there. Anything? No. Okay. And I think the final building here is this one. Alright, uh, we could search these things. Bunch of stuff on the ground. It doesn't seem like uh, these jet heads uh, mind if I just help myself, myself to the stuff around them. You see jet. Oh, nice. Just some jet lying around. I'll keep that on, my, on me. You never know when someone's gonna ask for jet. And what's that? It's a uh, meat jerky. Can I talk to any of you? No. Okay. And it extends over to this side. Another bottle of Nuka Cola. All right. There's actually a lot of quests to do in the den. I might have to split this to two parts. We've been playing for a while. Might have to take a break soon. Uh, I think... Can I talk to these guys? What do you want? Never mind. I guess. Can't talk to you. Alright, and there's this little area over here. Looks like some... Arms a great lady, isn't she? All right, who are you? You see a drug dealer. I'm here for protection. Talk to the dealer if you want to buy. If you're looking to deal, I got the stuff. Sure, show me. Mm, money, Nuka Cola, beer, stim packs, buff out jet. Not too much. That's it. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see, I'm supposed to go to Lana, not Lana, um, we're supposed to go to Mom. And, uh, hmm, okay, how long have we been running for? We've been going for a while, I think I can take a break here, and, uh, we'll, we'll pick this up where we left off. So currently, let's check out Pip-Boy here, the den. We've got to find Anna's locket. Uh, La Lara wants to know what's being guarded. Get the orphans off the street. Uh, free Vic from his death and get a car part for Smitty. That's a lot of stuff. Alright, but we're gonna have to take a break. Because uh, we've been going for a while. Hopefully we can finish the den in the next part. But for now, I'm gonna bring this video to a close. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Alright, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.